Hey everyone, today I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Prime Universe Bulkhead. This is an interesting figure. When you first saw the promo image of the guy, a lot of people were like, yeah, definitely not going to buy it. Uh, I just didn't want to buy it. Not because it didn't look like the Prime design of Bulkhead, because I wasn't really much of a fan of the Prime designs anyway. But the only design I really liked was Bumblebee. But um, just because it didn't really look good on the promo images. But when I saw a review of it, I was like, yeah, this guy looks pretty good. I'm going to have to pick him up. And I found him at Target. And so, yeah, I picked him up. And he looks really good in the packaging. Uh, Taking a look at the packaging. Let's see. Uh, no, well, open window. There's no plastic in there. So you can touch the figure as much as you want to. Uh, you got an uh, image of Bulkhead in his vehicle mode, Prime Universe Bulkhead, Transformers Legacy, Transformers on the side. On the top, you got Transformers Legacy. The back, you got this really nice artwork. I really like the artwork on this packaging. I really like this one, too, with all the Autobots and stuff. You got product shots of him, Robo Mode, Vehicle Mode, Transformers 30 Steps, and you got this little cold thing right here. Uh, words and stuff on the bottom. You got barcodes and other words. So, just to go ahead and get this guy open. I just want to make a disclaimer that I filmed the intro to this video before I moved to this new, uh, before I moved into this, uh, new setup in here. So, if the next couple videos or, like, a lot of videos in the next month or two shows, shows me in the old review station, that's, shows me in the old review station, that's because I filmed it before I moved into here. Just wanted to, uh... Just wanted to say that before this review starts. Getting a bulkhead out the packaging, I'm just gonna have to, this is an excellent, excellent figure right here. It looks really, really good. Taking a look at the details. As you can see, that head looks absolutely awesome. I really like how this head looks. I didn't really like too much how Bulkhead's design in Prime was. I definitely like this design a lot better, and I think it looks really good. But the head definitely uh, comes from that Prime design, and also animated as well. You got some blue right there for the eyes, silver right there on the crest, and some silver right there for the uh, rest of the face. You got this big hood piece that's painted in all green because it's made out of clear plastic. And you got this shoulder here with some silver on it, some sculpted detail on the arm, more molded uh, sculpted detail. And you got the hand there. And going down right here to the crotch area, as you can see, there's some silver right there on the thighs, and I think that looks really good. The paint on this figure is really, really clean. I really do, I really do like that. And then it's silver goes all the way around too. So it's even in the, yeah, all the way around. And there's no, oh no, there's some hollow points right there. But not that that really even bothers me. There's some silver on the knee pads. More that sculpted. I wish they put some silver right here. That would have been nice if they did that. And then you got the feet there. And turning around from the back. You don't have to have this uh, piece on there. You can actually take it off and just have them like that. But I think the back looks a little bit too uh, non-finished like that. So I like to keep this part on. So, yeah. I think it looks better with this part on. You can also transform it with it off if you want. But I'd rather transform it with it on. Accessories for Bulkhead, he comes with a mace right here, and it, this looks really nice. It's done in all silver. You can untab it and then put the peg into the hand. There's a, um, there's a specific way that you have to do it. Because you see the peg is sculpted a, uh, slightly this way. That means it's fit just for this hand. You can't really put it on this hand. Can you put it on the other side? Yeah, so you can do it like that uh, as long as you turn it upside down on that side. But it's mostly just fit to go. And mostly it's just supposed to go on this side. Oh, yeah. And that looks really good on this hand right there. I really do like how it looks. And then he comes with this 
right here a uh, gatling gun and that also looks really nice got some so uh, gun metal i just dropped it you got some gun metal gray on it and stuff and i can either plug into the hand but i prefer plug it into the um, shoulder like that and I think that looks best. Measuring this bulkhead to see how tall he is, he stands at roughly about six and a half inches to the top of his head. I think that put him at a good height next to his wave mates, his drag strip and skids. Here he is next to a Voyager class size figure. Here is G2 Laser Optimus Prime. Uh, uh, this Optimus Prime is a little bit taller than this, uh, than this bulkhead. Definitely the shoulders make him look a lot taller. But comparing the heads, he's only like, I guess, a head taller, maybe. For the articulation on this bulkhead, there's a ball joint at the head, allowing him to look up that far. He can look down that far. You got a tiny amount of head tilt, and you can rotate it. Hinge at the shoulder, goes up to 90. You can rotate it around 360 as long as it gets past this. You got a bicep rotation, single joint at bend at the elbow, but because of that indent right there, you can he can go way past 90 and almost acting like a double bend, and that's really nice. He does have wrist rotation. There is a waist rotation. Hinge at the um, the leg can go up that far, go back that far, and goes out that far you do have a thigh rotation single joint at bend at the knee goes past 90 as well and you do have ankle pivot and foot can hinge down and up and you can articulate the heel if you want so our articulation on this bulkhead figure is is a uh, pretty pretty good for transformation on bulkhead first what you want to do is you want to untab these arms here and that will allow you to this will untap from here, and then this, and this whole uh, front area will go up. And what you want to do is you want to untap, oh, untap this first. It's been a while since I've transformed this thing, so I'm gonna, probably going to forget. Untab this right here, and you want to have all this go under, and then these two things will tab in like so. Then what you want to do is fold down these tires there don't don't split them then you don't split them yet then you want to take the head push that down in there now we'll tab in then you want to take this whole piece and push it out like so then you want to take the arms you want to bend the elbow and then tab that in right there take the tires split them and those will tab in right there then for the legs i'm gonna untab this take this whole fuel tank out close that back up tab in the foot hold the foot in hinge the knee and that will tab in right there you want to do the same exact thing on the other side i'm just going to speed through it i can find the tab okay and then you want to tab this in right here. You want to hang that up right there. And then the, these two tabs will go into these two slots. And these two tabs are going to these two slots. Okay, just want to tab all of that in. And then for weapon storage, which I really like how this is, you got these holes in this you want to we'll pop this off first and i don't get why people say you're i don't get why people say this transformation will be a lot more better if you pop this off it's really simple to do transforming the vehicle mode with that on as you saw i just did it and so you want to take this i think it goes in right there and then the gun just plugs in right there and you plug this back on and then tab 
that in right there. Then you have bulkhead and his vehicle mode. Getting him into his vehicle mode, I think it's really, really nice. I really like this armor, army uh, type vehicle that he transforms into. Taking a look at the details, this is the Autobot logo right there on the front. You got the windows right there with the windshield wipers. Got some rear view mirrors there. A winch. Was that even all on? Okay, I don't think all of that was even in frame. Let me start over. Autobot logo, windshield, windshield wipers, wet, uh, rear view mirrors. There you go. And then you got a winch right there. And you got these headlights there. And there's a vent or intake right there. And on top, you got this part right here, which I wish was green. But honestly, the black doesn't look that bad. And you got another window right there. Don't know what that is. But uh, I think the tire does fit in right there. You don't really notice it too much. Fuel tank. You have the tires there just done in black. Maybe a bit of silver for the rims would have been nice. You got this uh, this little tarp here, which looks pretty good. I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily really look like a tarp. Because you can see the hinges and stuff. You can see the pegs and this whatever that is uh but they put some wrinkles in it in the sculpt so like it's waving like it's moving around and stuff more tires on the back right there and then you got the feet that you can use as a ramp if you as an unloading ramp if you want but i'm not gonna play with this thing like a toy because i'm a grown-ass man i'm just gonna put it on the shelf and leave it there why would i why, who did, 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 who played with their toys huh Oh, and I'm playing with one right now. It, moving on. The bottom right there, it looks okay. But who really cares about the bottom anyway? For size comparisons, here is uh, Bulkhead next to Dragstrip and Skids. Both of them in their vehicle modes. And, of course, it doesn't scale well at all. Because uh, they mostly scale well in the robot modes, not their vehicle modes. And something I'm kind of on uh, the kind of... Uh, on the if about if uh, this uh, this truck mode scales well with the uh, bulkhead to vehicle mode because in my mind I think it does but I don't know I really don't know they're both trucks but I think maybe this might be a little bit too small but I'm, I'm not sure I have to maybe look at some images and stuff I forgot to say that he rolls really nicely. So overall, I think this is a really, really, really good figure. The details are nice. The articulation is good. The transformation is fun and satisfying. And the vehicle mode is pretty good as well. I don't really have really any issues with this figure as well. I guess it's just because Bulkhead is just one of those characters I don't really like i don't really relate to that much or just uh don't really know too much about so taking all that in, i'm gonna have to give this figure a solid nine out of ten anyway that's it for it why did i say nine out of ten like that anyway that's it for this video i'll see you next time bye